All right. So I'm going to try to get another journal page done. I have too many journals that are just partly done or less. <laughs> I don't know. I'm also filming a vlog. So let's see if we can prop the phone up somewhere so that uh, any somebody who might be interested can see what I'm doing. Except I'm just seeing my boobs at the moment. I don't think anybody wants to see that. Oh, let's see. I just really need to get that mount out. That's just the solution to that. I do own a tripod for my camera. I do need to learn how to use it a bit more. Anybody who asks, I got it on Amazon. It's where I get a lot of things. Amazon. It's one of these ones with bendy legs. And you're still just looking at my boobs. Let's just try to look at the table and not at the cleavage. There we go. <laughs> just, you know. All right, so we're, um, I have a lot of journals I'm trying to finish, so I'm going to work in this little address book mini journal. I love these. I got these from Cindy Utter, um, and it has kind of a lot of pages in it, but I, um, and I don't, I'm just going to do one page, but this is a really cute journal I want to just leave out on my table and just do um, at random at when I have the whim. Uh, she sent me a couple of these. I really like them, so anyway. A journal page a day in one of my journals. That's my goal. <laughs> or more. I did also get a order from my friend Mike Deakin. I bought a few things including a couple of his stencils. So I think we're going to use this, this bubble one on here. He also always sends a little postcard and thank you. And um, I don't normally do this but this time I cut the little figures out out of the postcard. And we're going to use those on here on this page too. And I think we're going to use his postcard as inspiration. The background was really fun colors. And and Mike, I'm sorry I cut your postcard apart. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. <laughs> so he used really pretty like purples and greens and some old book text. So I think we're going to use this as inspiration. And the first thing we're going to do is get some colors. Um, let's use some craft paint. I'm still trying to use up my craft paint, people. Because I just have too much of it. It's a lot. Okay. So let's, let's try using this one. Of course, I grabbed the one that's not open. All right, I'll open it. Oh, so I need a little bit of this blue color, a little bit of this purple color. And just because we'll put a little bit of white on here. Okay, we're going to need the heat gun, but it's that way. Oh, I need a stencil brush. Let's use this one. I love this um, bubble stencil of Mike's. I will include his um, website in the description below where you can order his um, products. He has artwork, reprints, stencils. He does a lot of um, chipboard like wooden things. He has some really great stuff. Oh yeah, see, I got a little splodgy there, but I'm okay with that. Splodgy's a word, right? <laughs> I had that on there because too much paint. See, when you only have a little bit, it works better. Yummy. Okay. 
So now we need the heat gun. Heat gun. You only use a little bit, it dries really quick, so that's an advantage. Now this stencil has a couple of different size of dots on it, which I love. You hear that humming noise in the background, that's my washing machine because I evidently forgot to close the laundry room door. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's been a weird day, I don't know. I'm not using much paint and this journal is really little, so things are drying very quickly. I have this um, gold rub-on. This is from Target Halloween last year. They were on clearance after the holiday and I picked up one of them. Um, it's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, they are gold and uh, yeah, I don't know if they have them this year or not, but how cool is that? I love that. Okay. So now I think I want to do this. And I'm just barely touching the brush to the paper and I'm using a swirling motion and very little very little paint And I'm just blending the purple out a little bit with the white. I'm, it's very transparent, which is what I want. I don't want to cover up the rub-ons or the stenciling. I like that. Okay, so we're going to put our girls on. I did cut them in half. They were together. So that I could put one on either side of the center binding. Just like that. We're going to use some indigo blue super thick slap it on which is a uh, glossy um, and I don't know if I want the whole thing glossy but if I get some over on the rub on that's okay because they're gold and it will um, not dull them down any if you use a matte medium over something like those gold rub ons you have to worry about it dulling them down Mike sells his postcards on his website. Oops. That's just a repeat of the same text message. <laughs> I think it's probably my husband telling me he's on his way home. <coughs> Which means I need to finish this up and I need to go do the dishes. Take a clean um, scraper and 
push the figures into this, lap it on, and also get rid of any excess um, at the same time. See? That is so cute! I'm going to zoom you in. How cute is that? Now, part of the postcard also had this little pocket watch on it and the words thank you. I think I'm going to save those for something else. And a, a few other random scraps. I just, I really love this postcard. Mike, if you made paper out of this, I'd probably need to buy the digital download <laughs> because I really like it. Okay, I'm going to get a, I need a word or two. Let's see. I think we need a small quote to fit on there. And my quote box is super full. Oh, I see one that might work though. Okay. Let's see. This one, I like this one. This is by Deepak Chopra. The purpose of life is the expansion of happiness. The ha happiness is the goal of every other goal. I, I like that. So I'm going to cut each line of the quote apart carefully. Hopefully remembering exactly what it's supposed to say and put it back together in some way that maybe makes sense to somebody. I don't know. It feels like Monday on Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm going to need that super thick again. So each one I'm going to trim the ends off so it's not too long. I'm going to put half of the quote on one page and half on the other. I don't know where this quote um, cutout came from, a magazine of some sort. I do save them, so I don't know. So there we go. Another journal page done. Woohoo! Really super quick, really super easy. I'm going to take the rest of this paint and I'm going to slap it on the page in another journal and prep another page in another journal. That's it for today. Don't forget to check out the video description for the link to Mike's website, uh, my own links to my own Etsy shop, uh, the tip jar where you can support my um, free content here on YouTube uh, and over on Facebook. Uh, there's my Happy Mail address. Um, there's a link called Linktree in the video description. If you go to Linktree, you will find, it will take you to a list of every single place you can find me on the internet. <laughs> so, 
I can't hide anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Above all, go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye.